Hello and welcome to this virtual open evening for sociology. As you can see at Switches we study AQA sociology and we ask for students to have a GCSE 5 or above in English or a humanities subject um, due to the um, essay nature of this um, subject. Okay, so um, hopefully um, I'm going to be able to answer some of your frequently asked questions about sociology um, to help you decide whether this is the subject for you. Okay, so how is sociology A-level assessed? Um, the A-level is assessed with 100% exam, so no coursework. Um, students will sit an external exam, A-level exam, at the end of their second year, the end of year 13. And this will consist of three papers. Um, students will also sit an internal exam at the end of their first year, but this would only be marked internally by their teachers. Um, throughout the course of the year, students will also be regularly assessed, um, either through questioning or retrieval practice within lessons, but also through um, assessed exam style questions, either set within lessons under exam conditions or often also set for homework tasks as well. So there's lots of opportunity for students to develop their knowledge and uh, exam skills across the, across the two years. Okay, so what's what topics will you study um, if you choose to do sociology? Um, in year 12, the first unit we will cover is families and households. So this unit looks at family structure and how families have changed over time. We'd also look at um, government policies related to the family and the impact that this may have had on families over time. Um, the second unit we study is education. So we'd look at the role and the purpose of the education system and um, some of the history behind the education system. Uh, one key element we look at is why is that some students and groups within society actually achieve um, better or less well than other groups within society. Um, and we'd also try to explain this from different theoretical perspectives to understand the reasons for this differential achievement. Uh, lastly, in year 12, students would study research methods. So we're looking at different research methods employed by sociologists uh, and they'd also be assessing and evaluating the usefulness of these different research methods. Um, part of this unit is also applying their knowledge about research methods into an educational context. This is known as methods in context. So in their second year, in year 13, students begin by studying beliefs in society. So this is um, incorporates religious beliefs. It also looks at non-religious belief systems such as ideologies and uh, to understand how these might function within society. So we would look at um, the extent to which these belief systems are a force for social change or whether they are actually a conservative force. We would also look at the question of secularisation and whether society has become less religious or whether the nature of religion has simply changed and changed forms. Secondly, students would study crime and deviance. So within this unit, we're looking at um, the crimes committed within society and why some groups within society might commit certain crimes rather than others. We'd also look at um, the over and under representation of different groups within society within the, uh, the criminal justice system to try to understand why some groups are um, overrepresented um, or underrepresented in the criminal justice system. Lastly, we do a real focus on uh, theory and methods. So building upon what was studied in year 12, students go uh, a much more in-depth study of uh, the key sociological theories, um, including Marxism, um, feminism and functionalism, uh, to understand how these different theories developed and how they would try to explain society. So across the whole two years, students would be expected to not only develop a deep and wide knowledge of these areas, but also be able to critically evaluate and critically analyse um, these different ideas and different theories. OK, so in order to um, study sociology at A level, you do not need to have studied at GCSE, um, but you do need to be enthusiastic. You do need to be um, open minded and uh, to the issues within society. Uh, I'm very interested in society and the way that it, it functions or perhaps doesn't function. And also we'd really like our students to be very aware or at least um, open to kind of looking at contemporary issues and keeping an eye on the news to understand how um, society 
how these theories that we're looking at, how these ideas can, um, can be applied to society today. Um, because examiners are really looking for um, a student who can apply their knowledge to contemporary issues. And that really makes our lessons much more interesting if we can apply what we study in lessons to what is actually going on at the moment. OK, so hopefully I've answered some of the questions about what it uh, is like to study sociology and what sociology involves. Um, if you do have any more questions, please get in contact with Miss Sogi and she will be able to answer those questions for you. Thanks very much.